Welcome into another episode of Tribe Talk presented by the Tribe Club. I'm your host, Andrew Phillips, and today I'm joined by both senior men's soccer player Jackson SK and his younger brother, sophomore William SK. Uh, the SKs and the Tribe return to action this week at Martin Family Stadium for the first time in two weeks. They have a pair of matches against CAA foes Elon on Wednesday and Hofstra on Saturday night. Guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, Jackson, I'll start with you. Uh, good start to the season, a very competitive schedule for you guys. Uh, three wins, a couple of, uh, or a lot of overtime games, really. Just kind of give us a little recap about how the, how the season's gone so far. Yeah, uh, so far it's been pretty good. I think for the most part, um, we're happy with how the season's going. Um, we definitely have areas uh, in our game um, and throughout the team that we can improve, um, but we've at least shown that um, we can be competitive with almost anyone. Game against uh, North Carolina, um, we played a man down and we still able to get a result. Three other overtimes game, overtime games um, and two of them <laughs> um, we were able to get a, a win um, and another one a tie. Our pass result against Charleston uh, ended up with a loss which we're not happy about but hopefully uh, this week we can um, sort of work out the kinks and figure out what went wrong. William you're tied for the or you're actually the leader in points on the team four goals which tied your output from all of last year just kind of give us what's changed this year uh, it kind of took you a while to get going last year in the season in terms of scoring this year you've been uh, the guy and you had a hat trick against uh, Liberty early on uh, I definitely think it's a confidence thing uh, freshman year it was sort of really hard to find my own groove and sort of play my own style I was just kind of thinking where I fit into the team whereas this year I was kind of <clears throat> finding my own sort of style and playing how I would like to and I think that sort of benefited me in the uh, Liberty game especially and some games to come I was able to sort of do my thing more often and be more creative and sort of express myself on the field more. Um, for people that don't know you guys are kind of like the uh, first family of William Mary, and William Mary Athletics. Uh, both your grandparents attended William Mary, your grandfather was a basketball player, your parents both were student athletes at William Mary, your dad played soccer. Uh, so you guys kind of follow in his footsteps and your mom was on the track and field team. Um, kind of go through that family history Jackson and, and what that's been like as you guys have been able to continue this legacy that's now three generations deep. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, I mean, when we were growing up, I think uh, William & Mary was sort of a, always a, bi a big part of, um, we could tell a big part of uh, our parents' lives um, and our gr grandparents' lives, and they definitely cherished their time here. Um, and then I think when we got to the age where we were trying to decide where we go to school, obviously William & Mary was on the map. And there definitely wasn't any pressure to sort of come here but I think it worked out um, in a way that once we sort of got on campus, we got the feeling that this was where we wanted to go to school, um, at least for myself. And knowing that both my parents um, and grandparents have, have been here is kind of a cool feeling. Um, it's definitely a cool little piece of history. So I guess you kind of sort of already answered the question, but kind of take us through that uh, decision to come to William & Mary. Yeah, so we, um, I mean, at least for myself, tried to make it a point to get on at least like five or six different college campuses um, during the recruiting process. For soccer, it basically starts uh, your junior year. Um, you start getting in contact with coaches. Um, and I visited a couple schools. Um, I was at Georgetown, at NC State, um, in American. I just got the feeling um, after I came onto William & Mary's campus and got to meet uh, Chris um, and some of the guys that this would be a really good place for me and sort of met a lot of the uh, wants that I would have in a uh, in a school um, and so I definitely still explored other options uh, and just found that this one was was the best fit um, and I don't think it's coincidental by any means but I still think that we definitely made our own choice coming here. So William, after your brother chooses to come to William Mary, you have that legacy. Is the pressure on you now to come, or how does that how did that how did that uh, transaction take place when you decided to come to William Mary? Uh, not really at all in terms of pressure on coming here. Um, it definitely affected my decision knowing that my brother was here, and then actually Riley Spain, who was a best friend from high school, uh, had committed here before I started going on visits. So definitely affected uh, my decision and is one of the reasons why I chose here over some other places. <clears throat> Not the only reason obviously, um, but knowing my brother was here and a friend and the family just kind of felt right. Definitely had a more home sort of feeling than a lot of the other places I went to. Um, and aside from that, my situation was really similar to Jackson's in terms of trying to get on a bunch of campuses and exploring other options, but again, just this really felt like it was always going to be the place I was going to go. Um, 
Both of you guys in your careers have worn number 14. You're wearing it right now. What's kind of the story behind that jersey number? So my dad actually wore 14 when he was playing in school and then there's actually three more of us, so five siblings and growing up, everyone wears 14. Um, I don't really know exactly how that started because you don't pick your number when you're super young, but I just had always worn 14 my whole life and so had he and then it just sort of became a tradition. That's pretty cool that we're all trying to wear the number. Uh, this question for both of you, but we'll start with you, Jackson. Uh, it's your senior year, the last two years you've gotten to play with your younger brother. Um, obviously growing up you guys probably played a lot of soccer together, but what is it like being able to take this experience uh, into the college ring? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I think we get that question a lot. Um, I think there's some like sort of idea that it's like, uh, for us it doesn't feel like strange because we sort of grown up uh, playing together. Um, so it's just sort of continuing that pattern where we've we've been playing together our whole lives. But it's definitely a really cool thing that, that uh, that we, I try and at least notice um, and to have your brother out there and um, you know be able to do stuff like this and also um, connect on the field um, and travel together. It's it's all really cool. Um, I think we both appreciate it, um, enjoy it. Speaking for myself, at least. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah uh, William. Same question for you. What has it been like? I mean, I, I guess it's a little bit different. Jackson kind of established when you got here already, but you you entered the starting lineup as a freshman and have been able to play side by side for the last two years. Yeah, it's definitely a really cool experience and it's kind of funny when people ask you about it, they sort of are like, is there some sort of connection or like almost like a telepathic thing that's going on, <laughs> which really not. It's just like playing with uh, another personality that, personality that you know really well. Um, yeah, it's definitely, I really appreciate having someone there as sort of like a, a mentor or someone who's set a good example thus far. Um, that allows me to sort of conduct myself as a way like, or to see how I want to be by looking at, you know, an older brother and it lets me uh, decide what I want to do. Okay, so usually on Tribe Talk, we go to this point, we go to the Fast Five. Um, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna call this segment, Know Your Bro. So it's gonna be kind of like the, <laughs> kind of like the newlywed game. We've asked each of these guys three questions um, and they have answered for each other. So we'll start with uh, Jackson's question. So William has the answers for those. So. Jackson, uh, we'll wait a second here. What's your uh, what's your favorite food? Well, there's not a, there's a there's a couple uh, couple entrees that could be a contender for this one, but uh, I'm gonna guess he put down sushi because lately I've been very active about how um, big a part of my life sushi has sort of become. William, what's your answer? So William's one for one to start. We'll stay with you. We'll keep on your pack here. Um, who's your favorite professional sports team? I'm gonna guess he put Manchester United, but if we were gonna say like just a team, I would say the U.S. men's U.S. men's national team would be my favorite sports team to watch. But um, I'm guessing he probably. What's, your, what's your answer? He put Man United. I think I'm gonna give him a point for that. Yeah. And then I, I think you know his answer is better. <laughs> okay. And then uh, and finally, what's your favorite place to travel? We went to Spain this. I haven't like traveled so much where I can like say like you know. Right compare every place in the entire world, but we went to Spain uh, for spring break uh, this past semester and it was definitely one of the, definitely the best trip that I've been on, um, so I would say, I would say Spain has been my favorite place to travel. Spain, so he's three for three, so hopefully you have the same sort of answer. He knows, he knows your answers, let's see if you know his. So William, William mine were a little harder. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, your first question is, what is your favorite musical artist or band or group uh, to listen to? Yeah, this one is actually just tough for me because I'm not really sure <laughs> the answer to this is. Um, Probably know better than he does. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I would maybe go with uh, a group called Atmosphere, but I, I, I don't know. Well, probably would, I don't know what Felly is. Okay. That's, is that close? I mean, I don't I think he gets a point. I thought so. I probably would have picked that, actually. <laughs> okay, so 0 for 1. So you're going to win the game. I would say that's 1 for 1. Come on. Um, the second question was, what sport would you play if you weren't a soccer player? Uh, I think not the one I would be the best at, but I would probably go with basketball. I think it's the most fun. Yeah. What did you go with? Dance. And so you might not know this, but William was actually a really good tap dancer when he was little. He was in a recital. Um, there's a video of it. I'm sure that we could we could get you guys, but I think he also doesn't know. But this actually would be his, his, be, his second best sport. Okay, so there you go. And then finally, 
Um, what's your favorite spot on campus? I would just have to go to Sunken Gardens, I think. Okay, and your answer? <laughs> Win. So, 0 for 3. Half, half for three. I so. don't really pay attention that much to what he does. He knows what you do, so I, mean, I guess he's looking up in your, yeah. your footsteps. A bit of a stalker vibe. Don't surprise me. <laughs> a little stalker vibe from it. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to wrap us up here. We really appreciate you stopping by on Tribe Talk. Um, remember, both Wednesday and Saturday, the men's soccer team will be in action against ranked foes. Elon on Wednesday, uh, Hofstra on Saturday. Uh, kickoff time for both games are at 7 o'clock. If you can't catch them at Martin Family Stadium, they will be live for free online on tribeathletics.com. Also, don't forget to join us for live Tribe Sports today on Friday afternoon at about noon. We'll be on Periscope to get you set for all of your weekend action. As always, stay tuned for uh, the upcoming events in Williamsburg this week, and we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.